In today's video, we're going to try to win the game with only using the Wizard Monkey inside of BT Battles 2. I'm not allowed to use the Jericho Hero or other towers like Eyes or Village and other stuff and more. Only the Wizard. We're going to see if we can try to win with only using Wizards and see if we can try to end up winning it. I know it's going to be pretty difficult to try it out, but... Can we try to win? We are going to have to find out and see, all right? So if you guys are new to my channel, if you guys want to see more content like this, please subscribe and also smash the like button if you have not already. But without further ado, let's get right into today's video. All right, here we go, guys. So we got this map, Plutonia Mines, and we're going to be using only the Wizard Tower only. No heroes, no other towers allowed in this game. So this time, we're going to see if we can try to win with only using the Wizard for today's video. So let's start by going for the Wizard. Let's go. And looks like my opponent's going to go for the Tash Shooter, which is going to be his first tower so yeah basically i know you guys think the wizard is going to be pretty hard to pull off especially against purples guys it's going to be pretty hard to able to uh, handle against purples so our goal is just to win the game with only using wizards only because i know i have not done it only using wizards for like a minute though but it's a good thing we got a good old wizard start just able to be sure of it because again only wizards because i think on round eight the balloon sense where purples will come out so that's what i want to do is just able to go for the necro but basically necro is kind of a little bit expensive to be honest here so i think this might be the better way just to able to spend a couple more fireballs if we need to go for a couple more spam fireballs against purples because i see many people saying that spamming fireballs could be a little bit a bit better if i want to make sure that i want to able to get this straight here so it's a good thing we're gonna see if we could try to win this game for sure and hopefully we can easily get some good content for you guys all right and by the way my opponent's not even sending me eco for some reason i'm not too sure why um but we're in the casual mode it's because i don't want to play in the ranked match while using only the wizards because of that i don't want to go up against like players that are running meta because the only meta that is right now in this season is tack farm and wizard along with agent jericho or highway man because again so many people have been running meta very very much though i see many people been using a lot a ton of strategies even though especially the meta because tack farm and wizard guys it's like going to go up against like somebody like i don't know but hopefully they'll probably nerf the jericho or maybe highway man because Basically, it's one of the most OP hero in all time in BT Battles 2, so I just wanted to try to, like, able to play it for fun, even though I want to make some great strategies, make some new strategies for this game, even though Jericho is one of the best hero, hopefully they'll probably nerf it in the next mid-season update, I'm, I'm a feeling, or this mid-season, I don't know, uh, but we'll have to see, because apparently Ninja Q is probably working on that, I don't even know, I could be wrong. Also, I will go for another wizard, because apparently with the wizards, because I need to go ahead and go for the fireball very, very soon, because, again, fireball could easily help out by stalling those purples because i think with fireball guys basically if you rather upgrade to the uh, tier one middle path basically when you upgrade uh fireball spams then it's gonna allow you to pop purples easily here so that way you don't have to worry about uh defending those purples etc so that's why you gotta make sure they want to go for the for the better position here so uh also we're gonna go for the monkey sense because my opponent started to adjust him right about now because i forgot he placed out i think he placed out jericho probably on round two or three i don't know because i wasn't even looking on his side because basically he placed out agent jericho probably until um until round maybe three i think i don't even know but hopefully this time we're gonna go to go for the necromancer very very soon because i really need to go for the necro whatever the heck i need to get that straight here so um looks like he's gonna send me with some regents oh this is bad um are we good i think we're gonna be fine without even boosting our feeling oh maybe not actually Okay, we're linking to one zebra, region zebras. Jesus Christ, man. All right, then. I almost died to a freaking zebra because apparently the region zebras is going to be very annoying to able to defend that. But we still managed to pull this off here, so... We're going to clear the obstacles here. We're going to go ahead and go place on the wizard, like, right here. In case if my opponent sent me a mod, we might have to go for the upgrade all the way to the top path. Plus with, the, I think, the bomb path. Because many people saying the bomb path is way better because it has camo popping power. Because I want to make sure that we can easily defend it. Whatever the heck we need to able to get that straight. But hopefully this time we don't actually end up dying to any rushes here that my opponent will accept a semi one. But we're going to have to see how it's going to work out for today, all right? Also, my opponent did not build his lap on me power. So, I'm going to try to send him with some less just to able to make sure that my opponent will accept to do to, just to go for the for the lap on paper power. So, you should hear. Uh, looks like he already went for that. Nice. 
Um, and yeah, we'll continue on with some good Prepression Eco, I guess. So, hopefully we're gonna get some good advice, even though we're only using the Wizards, it's gonna be pretty insanely hard. So, we gotta be really careful with the, with any rushes here, because if my opponent decides to send me a rush... Oh, it sent me with Ceramics, of course. Okay, we might have to go for the, for the Arcane Mastery, in case we don't somehow die to a Ceramic. But, against Ceramics with the Arcane Mastery, it's going to be helping out by uh, defending those rushes very, very easily here. So, we gotta make sure that we want to go for the Arcane uh, Mastery first, and then later on, we might have to go for the arcane spike because again the arcane spike will easily damage the most very very useful so that's why you want to make sure that you want to save it to go for the arcane spike against the mar rush or zmg rushes etc because if you don't have enough money then i don't even know what to say tbh here but hopefully we're gonna try our best just to try to make it to round 30 maybe or so i'm not sure my opponent will accept to send me a rush oh here comes the purpose i forgot about that um, yeah, we're gonna be quite okay with that. And it's round 17 right now, so let's see if my opponent will, um, will accept to send me a mob, because I'm not sure this guy will accept to send me one. If he doesn't, then that's fine, because I know only the Wizards, even though we're only using the Wizards, it's gonna be pretty insanely hard to go up against. Also, uh, he sent me a mob right now. Uh, let me see if we can easily defend without boost. I think that we don't need to boost this, but let's go ahead and go for another one, just to be safe. Um, I need to go for another one instead. I don't have an arcane spike if I need to. You know what? I'm gonna tower boost it. Because without arcane spike, guys, I don't think it's not going to handle against only one mob. Because only one arcane mastery, it won't defend the mob very, very easily. So you want to go ahead and go for the arcane spike. Whatever you need to go for the arcane spike, guys, you can easily defend the mob and you'll be fine with it though. So, um, right now we're gonna continue on with some, maybe with a good eco progression here. And to be fair, I'm not sure if my opponent will accept to send me like a DDT rush on round 26. Especially if this guy might be able to send me a 1. Also, he's going to send me another Moab. Okay. Um, I need to go for the Arcane Spike. Uh, can I go for the Arcane Spike? I don't think I could. Or maybe so. I don't think if I could go for the Arcane Spike, maybe I should go for it. Okay, there we go with the Arcane Spike. Nice. Okay, it's so a good thing we got the Arcane Spike up. Even though we tried to calculate some, some money here so we could easily go for the Arcane Spike. But there we have it, guys. We got the Arcane Spike on the Wizard. Just able to defend those MOAs or BFBs, etc. Because once we defend that, we're going to be quite A-OK -okay with that against that. Also, is he good uh, to the AI? Um, I think he's going to be quite OK. Yeah, he's going to be quite OK with that. Nice. And here comes the round 20 mob, and we're going to be easily defend the MOA AI very, very uh, smoothly. So I'm kind of happy that we actually defend that. And yeah, we're going to continue on with some Pink's Eagle at progression here. So, I'm not sure my opponent will accept to defend that. I mean, my opponent's got the attack shooter. I mean, he's definitely not going to be as good because apparently he's going to leak down like way, very much here. Also, is he dead to the camo? Oh, don't tell me he's dead to the camo. Alright, so we're back on game two. This is round 18, by the way. And look at my opponent's side. This guy's gonna be going tag farm wizard, but this time without using Jericho. He's gonna be using the hero Quincy. So it's a very good thing to see because I know many people are be running tag farm wizard with Jericho. It's annoying to go up against. But with Quincy, it's fine because apparently with Quincy, it's gonna be quite okay just to be able to make sure that we're both gonna be going for uh, just to go epic late game. Maybe we'll play a little bit safer. But right now, we got this map star. And I know the last game, my opponent died to the A. AI camos, which is such unfortunate to see. Maybe this guy did not realize that round 21, there's camos coming up, and this guy didn't even realize there's camos gonna be gonna be quite deadly here. Unless need to go for the ninja all the way to the blue gypsus. I'm not too sure why my opponent did not place on the ninja in the first place earlier because his ninja spot guys was like 100 percent garbage, so that's why somehow he ended up dying to um to the AI or something, which is such a fortune to see. But right now, this guy has a necro. This time he's gonna be quite okay against the uh, against round 21 with some camel rainbows in it so we're gonna be quite okay just able to make this pressure because i know we're both gonna be going probably gonna go all the way to round 30 or more because of that i just wanted to see if we could try to able to survive with only using the wizards because again only wizards guys it might be pretty insanely hard just just able to defend everything so we had to make sure that we need to start defending every DDTs, maybe round um, 28 all-out DDTs or whatever. Because, again, my opponent and I, were going to be sending a little bit of sets of eco. But still, this guy has farms, so I'm feeling that my opponent will accept to try to be able to go for a lot, a ton of income. Whatever the heck he's going to be doing here. So hopefully this timing, this could be pretty insanely match against this, only using wizards. We're going to have to find out this guy will accept to send me a rush. Maybe not or so. I don't even know, man. But he's going for another wizard monkey, which is going to be his dragon breath. Or maybe he's going to go for the phoenix on his wizard, maybe. I don't even know. 
Uh, but he needs to go for the research facility on his farm here because once he goes for the research facility or go for the for another farm placement, then he's gonna have a lot of ton of money. He's just able to get some spare up. But yeah, we're gonna see how it's gonna work out because again, with DDTs around 26, we might have to go for the Arc Mage or maybe we could go for the Person of the Darkness or something because once we go for the Person of the Darkness, guys, I think we're gonna easily shred that rush. If we do have the Person of the Darkness up, then we're gonna see if this is gonna be worth it just able to try this out here. So. Um, hopefully we can easily start equaling with some good ton of stuff with pinks in it because again guys sending pinks is going to be quite better pre uh, precision here because only sending purples will waste so much money so that's why I wanted to go ahead and start sending with some per uh, pinks better so you can save up for more money just able to get some defense. Um, so we're gonna have to save it to go for the art mage, whatever the heck my opponent's gonna be doing. So we're gonna start prepared to go for another wizard in case my opponent will set to send me a rush. All right, so there we go with the person of the darkness on the wizard. So in case that my opponent will send me a DDT rush, we will go ahead and go for the arcane spike spam because once we go for the arcane spike spam, then I think it's gonna be quite okay just able to get this progression here. So we're gonna see if we can try to go for the arc mage, whatever the heck we need to have it here. So once we get that arc mage up, then we're gonna be quite a okay with that against DDT because with the arc mage guys it's going to clean up everything because we need to make sure that we need to start defending every storm out of the of every ddt rush because if we do get rushed in the next round maybe round 28 then we got to watch out for that as well so yeah we're going to be quite okay even though against wizards plus with only tap farm wiz player i think there's a still a chance just able to win the game here even though we're about to afford the arc mage if we need to get that straight so let's go ahead and go for the arc mage right about now there we go with the arc mage and let's continue on with some um maybe we'll continue on with some pinks and then before round 30 is about to come out then we have to go ahead and go for the better defense here because if we don't defend that rush then i guess we have to counter my opponent with some all out ddt's just able to win the game here but looks like my opponent he's got a lot of plantations on his side here no resource facility no nothing like he did not build up his resource facility or go for the beast central because he has a lot of eco he could easily go ahead and go for the banana central as early as possible but I'm not too sure why my opponent didn't go for it in the first place, but here comes round 30 with some BFBs. I mean, we could still easily defend that, which is pretty smoothly to see. Um, but yeah, we actually ended up defending, actually, which is pretty good news. Also, hopefully he doesn't die to the AI or something like that. Uh, looks like he's not. Okay, he's good. But he's gonna have to worry about the AI on round 32 because with fortifieds, it's not going to help out. But basically, he needs to Phoenix it before round 32 is about to come out. So once he needs to Phoenix it... Um, then he's gonna be quite okay just able to defend the defend the AI uh, fortified mobs in this. So yeah, here comes one fortified mob, two fortified mobs. Okay, um, he's gonna have to phoenix it. You need to phoenix it, my friend. Um, my mom's not too sure what the heck is he doing, but he needs to go for the phoenix. Oh, he went for the uh, infinite rain. Oh my god, I always said the rain of fire, but it's called infinite rain on his on his uh, attack shooter. But he went for it right now, so there he goes with that. And I think he's gonna be quite okay against round 32 um, AI with some fortified mobs. So. Kind of happy to see that my opponent decided to defend that rush, which is pretty insanely here. So, yeah. Well done, my friend. Well freaking done. Um, and we're going to go for another uh, wizard. If I want to place another wizard here. Because I will go for this upgrade to the middle path all the way to the Wizard Lord Phoenix. Because I need to go for the upgrade to the Wizard Lord Phoenix. If we need to start to save it to go for the better uh, defense here. So, let's see if we can start building up a couple more stuff. And we're going to be quite okay with that against AI. So, let me see if we could try to able to afford this. Whatever the heck we need to get here. Also, here comes one fortify. Oh, is he dead to the one fortify? Oh, don't tell me. Well, unfortunately, my opponent died to the AI, which is pretty stupid. But still, we actually won two games in a row with only using the Wizard Monkey. Because of that, I just wanted to see some defense against BADs with only using the Wizard. But for some point, my opponent somehow died to the AI. Like, why is my opponent kept dying to the AI? Like, I don't exactly know. Because basically, every player that does, does die to the AI... It's literally dumb to see because they don't know how to exactly defend that AI mob, AI rushes, or whatever. It's like literally annoying when people decide to die to the AI like this. But it's all good though. Probably the next time we might do this again, maybe or so. But again, let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see more videos like this once again. Um, and still, I hope you guys do enjoy today's video. If you guys have not subbed, please subscribe. And also smash the like button if you enjoyed today's video. And I will see you guys in the next one. And peace everybody.